We are late, but we are live. You guys, I have little double wing flyaways, but it is what it is. Ready to do business. So Jeff and I today, we've been really busy, but we've been playing around with some coasters because we want to make something special for y'all with them. Hey guys. And so Jeff made these little prototypes of what I'm going to be calling frozen. Hold on y'all. This drives me insane. <laughs> she brushed out Bowie and there's hair. She has hair all over. It's true. I just want, I just want to not make her look like a homeless puppy lover. Mm. Thank you, love. So, mm -hmm. there. Thank you. Scarlett said, Jet Papa. So, how gorgeous is this guy? So, I did a little experiment. And he also did a large cluster one as well. To make molds. I'm going to be exploring this today. So I did a test before earlier. And I'm going to be doing one of these bad boys. I call them frozen coasters. And I'm going to show you how I did it so you can make some for yourself. At home, in your Who own. Who did it? We did it. Does it matter? <laughs> okay, calm down. Jeez. I, I don't feel like I'm hyped. So, I'm going to show you guys how Jeff and I did it. Cue the stripper music. Probably correct what I'm doing because I don't want to mess it up. But babe, we did it, you know. Well, I did part of it and you did the other part of it, so. Oh, I'm so glad. So, I'm going to start with one of our white Masonite coaster as the base. We have these on our website. I'm pretty sure we have them in stock. If someone could check, that'd be awesome. Um, hey, y'all. Exactly, smiley's girl. So I'm going to start with this. If you guys get these, don't forget that there is a protective film on it and you just have to peel it off. It's super simple, but if you forget, then you're going to do artwork on this masking paper instead of on our pure white coasters. It's the same with the uh, clear coasters too. Yeah, same. And we sell all these on our website. We do. We forgot to tell them that we sell that stuff on our website today live. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, the geode resin molds that I showed you guys the other day came from Nina at Shattered Shapes. She's in Australia. And I have her info in the description box under those videos. So you guys can reach out to her if you're interested in getting some of those geode pie molds. Hey, guys. Oh, thanks, Doris. So, um, I'm using one of our swiping papers as the base because it's got this shiny side. We tried it with wax paper. It did not work. It didn't. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some paper still attached. Nope, it's not going to focus. Okay, cool. Anyways, there's still paper under there. So, that'll make your... Um glue more cloudy and so I don't want it to be distracting I want it to be pure clear so yeah Daphne wants to know if anyone has done a demonstration pour outside at a fair I have not done any outside demos but I'm sure it's been done a number of times what's up lost art so before we get this started it's been a long day. I had a meeting with my accountant. That was fantastic. 
Um, cheers, B. Fan freaking tastic. Tink. Here's to y'all. <sighs> sippy, sippy. Okay. So I'm going to be doing just an alcohol ink design on this to um, make it look so I see. So when I do my alcohol ink things, I just drench it with alcohol, drop some random colors of ink, slosh it around. Hey, what are you done? Nope. Yep. I also sometimes set these bad boys on fire, but I haven't set one of our um, bees on fire yet. I don't know how it would do, so I'm not going to do it live because I don't want to have it on camera if I set the studio on fire again. Very light. Hi, Ms. Do what? It's very light. Oh, yeah, it's really? ice. I'll do a deeper one. I have four coasters here. So hit it with a heat gun till it's completely dry. And it is kind of light, but I'll do some darker ones too. Thank you, Clara. By the way, Clara was an amazing help. She helped clean up things here and Invaluable. Also, the pups had an amazing time at Judy's. I did. I gave Bowie a bath today. I had to get in the tub with him, but it worked out. Now he's beautifully clean, little baby boy, Palm. It's like this hair is so soft. Mhm. Mm that's awesome, Daphne. I want to see all the pictures. It's really rainy. Yeah, we've had a semi storm here for the past 30 minutes. I have all of the zoomy videos from the babies. That's a good looking one. I'm just going to do a set of four for y'all. Um, you know, watercolors behave similar to alcohol inks. I'm just not that good at Um, watercolors. Ooh, okay. But you can probably give it a shot and see. If I had any skill with watercolors, I would demo for y'all. Maybe I'll do, like, I'll try to figure some, something out with watercolor and do demo for you guys. That's fun. Almost all of my purple in that one's gone. Can you... What's up? Can you put that glitter glass in a cup and put alcohol ink on it and stain the glass? Probably. And then shake it, dry it, put it out, dry it, and then... Like, do you think that would work? Does it stain it or does it just... I think it'd just be on it. Mm. And you'd have to like pour it out and then spray seal it with like archival spray. And that would probably be a birch. They make it in different colors, so may as well just get it in different colors. Like I have some teal that Judy sent me home with.
You just dumped it all off. I was trying to read and like. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Definitely need to put some gloves on. Hi B. Loveies. Y'all, we've been working on so many cool things to show you guys. I can't even handle it. I'm so excited. That's awesome, Smiley's girl. Hey, Robin. All right. Now, I'm going to seal them in with this archival spray. Ta da! Ta da! This is going to protect um, your coasters from bleeding and protect them from fading and scratches and things like that. Since I'm not going to be resining these coasters this time, I highly recommend it. If I were going to resin it, which would be smart, but it would be a real long video if we did that, I would seal the coaster coat it in resin, once it's set, then do the next part that we're gonna do. You wanna just give it a gener generous, a generous coating. It's just a little coaster so it doesn't, it's not like a lot of surface area. Melt that. So, the archival spray bottle it's by Krylon. I use the matte. Chris, it's definitely a quick project. If you have like a show coming up or an arts festival, these are gonna be your friend. Sippy, sippy. Okay, Moose. So you can hit it with a heat gun to dry this a little faster. Never mind, Moose. He's over there arguing with Bowie. Diana, um, if you seal them properly, they're not going to fade. If they do, it's not going to be that much. Um, the real issue with fading is when you drop inks into resin, as far as I know. Doodle like Jeff. I love doodling. Lisa, I'd love to see those. Hey, Angel Heart. Oh, yeah, this is going to be easy cash for anyone that has a festival coming up. I will say, though, that this is glass shards on the edge of these, so don't yeah. have them around children or animals that may don't, chew on it. Don't you... Don't... Be careful. Expect them to work like regular coasters. This is more of a... A decorative coaster. A decorative coaster, a, a conversation piece put out and... If you want, you can put your drink on there if you like. But just remember, there's little pieces of glass on there. They're not super sharp, but they will cut you. Mm -hmm. So I have to throw that little caveat out there so I don't get any angry emails talking about, I didn't know this glass was so sharp. Anyways. So I'm putting this round clock face that we also have on our website down just as a solid base I have my handy dandy really cheap dollar store heat gun here this is super cheap and so Jeff was doing this part earlier so I'm gonna 
All you do is just push down, just push down on it, and then just put your glue. All the way around the first time, or will it set I, I would, before? Yeah, I would just do it a quarter, just just enough so you can sprinkle the glass on there and get plenty on there. Okay. And just do it, yeah, don't go over the edge if you don't want it over the edge. I like it over the edge a little bit. Yeah, and when you do, when you do, yeah, when you do that, it takes a little more time, so. <clears throat> Where's my this? So I have all my glitter glass in this little bitty baby cup. And then what I was doing from the side, push it. Push it in. Yeah, just kind of gradually I push it in. Yourself. I'm not gonna. I worry about you, dear. It's love. I don't know what you want me to do about it. So, just go section at a time. I left this one like this just so that you can pick it up, you know, so you wouldn't worry about cutting them. They're not like super sharp. Like I've, I picked them up with my hands. I put them in the cup. As long as you don't press on them or squeeze them with your fingers or run your hand over it, they won't cut you. They're, they're definitely... It's glass, people. It's glass. So just always wear gloves when you're doing this. I'm not reading the comments, if you could keep an eye on them. Resin art by Robin. We use, um, we like to use uh, Walther Strong, wherever that's at. This is an orange tape. Uh, I believe it's out of the UK. They have an amazing tape. I don't know where it's at. We might have used it. Probably either in your area or with the stuff that we did the class. And I was thinking I would like pick it up and roll it in the glass. But Jeff had a good point that if you... It is no longer available, Jeff. What is it? Our tape? I thought that like Carrie and Scarlett just got a bunch of it. Why is that glitchy? Screen. That's weird. I didn't, I didn't know it was. Use the coaster. If you're in a car accident and the seatbelt's stuck, use the coaster to cut it. It's not that sharp. <laughs> <laughs> And they'll probably break off because of their tiny, their tiny little pieces. So how long does it take for this to dry before I can peel it up? I would, I would wait like five minutes. Okay, just so we'll just go on to the, next, the one. next one. Let me put that there. I want to like get all designy with it. This is probably not advisable, though. What the glue gun? It's really difficult to get in. Details. I'm gonna check on the rain. It's getting crazy out here. It still looks really windy. I'm gonna try to figure out how to like seal in these shards so they're not sharp. The issue with that is, is once you coat it with anything, it takes the facets out of the glass, therefore concealing all the sparkle that it gives, you know? Uh, Thanks y'all. Hey Trish. Not just draining off the ceiling, off the roof. Bad boys in there. Well, that's hot. 
every now and again, these rhinestones. Okay. The big ones are, look, I have, I have some, like, pencil tip ones in that color, if you want to grab them. Pretty pendant. <laughs> Thanks, artistically random. We laughing at. My cousin Vinny, his suit he has on that he got from. Is that what's on the television? Strong Can you refill my this? Isn't available. Maybe they're back ordered. Maybe they're gonna. Maybe they're back ordered because of us, and then they're gonna send us a big fat check for telling people it's an awesome tape. <laughs> I don't know, but we can reach out to them. See what's up. Thank you. Good shot. So I'm a super clumsy person, and I haven't cut myself with this glass yet. Watch today be the day, because I just said that. I think it's important that you push the glass back into the glue so that you really set it in there really well. And make sure your table is very flat. That's why we have it on this clock face because it's super fat, fat, super flat and smooth. Last one. We were talking about while they're strong tape, the orange tape that we've been using. Super easy to tear and resin doesn't stick to it and it sticks for a long time. Very, very good tape and for some reason it's not available. Those little handles always get in the way. Mm -hmm. I hate that. No, it doesn't sit up on them anyway, so. a little dot over here but it's just picking up all the um robin i would use i'm not a fan of the uh i'm sorry i just interrupted you it's okay go ahead i'm not a fan of the of the painter's tape um for a light use yeah for like a really light stick painter's tape is awesome um i like to use for taping, I would say for taping off something to block resin, um, the tan scotch tape, not the light tan, like the cheap tan, but it's more of a little bit darker scotch tape, the tan. I think it's painter's tape, I'm not sure. I think it's masking tape. Yeah, it's masking tape. Yeah, Scotch 3M. It's like a... It's, it's this tan. There's another... 
it's a little bit lighter, but it's poor quality. Like it tears really easy and it doesn't it doesn't stick very well. But this is what, what I prefer. The Scotch 3M. I would be a little bit more deliberate if you're gonna put a little line out and come back. You know what I mean? So probably not put uh, so much so that, yeah, so that you can go back and mm -hmm. be deliberate with your glass pieces. side that's why I hold it up a little bit higher so that it does sprinkle out and it has a little velocity so it'll go down and stick in the glue Look at that. no a little stupid leg thing got in the way over this little leg yeah, thing. You missed like a whole section right here of glue. Just, I don't want it to be like sticking out. Right there. I know, I just have to, if I, if I would have put any um, glass on it, it wouldn't have let me continue the line. that on your list of things you use. Okie dokie, we can do that. On Amazon? I assume. I wish hot glue is easier to control. Well, probably a little bit nicer one. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure that comes out a little smoother and it's funny you can barely see that on either of the cameras I mean because the blue. it's glass Oh, yeah, yeah. It's clear. I didn't even realize you were doing that on a clear one. All right. So this is the first. Should I dump the... Yeah, do this. Right, Diane? What was it that one person was calling it? Hot glue. Hot glue? Hot melt glue? Yeah. It'll come off. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> That's how much that works. Like, it, you you literally have to hold on to it. And I, I held it upside down. Do, the, do this. So then you can see all those little guys. All oh, hangy down. Yeah. loose ones. Mm -hmm. See, there's like a lot of those. There's little strings from, I don't know. I have just this, I don't know if 
you guys can see it's a little void right here I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue it's paper, so it's I'm gonna set it back back on the and set it down immediately so it doesn't end up with some like funky dip on one side uh, I think this one was next do we make sure I don't spill the, this It like doesn't even almost stick to that paper. Yeah. Right. Oh no, I missed like this whole side. So yeah, soup. No, I didn't not see it. It just didn't stick because I had so much glue. That the glue didn't stick. I mean, I had so much glass down that the glue didn't stick. Right. Also, I do probably need to go get my ice It's so fun how not stuck that is. See, I had the glue on it. It just didn't stick because there were so much glass down. A little patch, patch. I just love how this glitter glass shines. I want to carry it in our store. I mean, it's from Germany. It's not local. I wonder how they make it. Magic and science. I saw this clear one to do. Oh. All right. Last one. <laughs> I wasn't, I thought maybe it would give me some issues. I didn't think it would come off that easy. Here, I'll move this so you can put it on that around so they can see it. I need to dust it off. Got a lot of glass in the middle area. I just wanted to make a snowflake. Yeah. It's not the most beautiful snowflake, but it can be done. <laughs> so like for a Christmas ornament. So, oh, yeah, I wanted to put this so that you can see it, see it on there. Like, it's just so simple, but it gives it such a, like, a different look. And I'm going to be sending these out to friends and family. It's so weird that you can't even see. It just looks like an outline. But there's a coaster in there. You can see all my fingerprints on it. And a line of glue. This is probably my favorite one. Oh yeah, that's the glitter glass falling. 
Thanks, Crazy G Lady. I made this just now today, start to finish. It's just glitter glass. I got it in a kilo bulk. I know that's like a drug sound, but it's just super tiny, fine shards of glass. So again, don't have these around animals or small children. You don't want them to ingest this outside ring. This is a coaster, but definitely going to be more of a conversational decorative centerpiece rather than the most functional liquid soaking situation, you know? Or just make it a Christmas ornament. We can start drilling, I'll probably start doing that soon. Just drill a hole in, in our coasters because I did these on our flat white coasters. It's not that sharp, like I can, I haven't cut myself on it and it's, it, it could happen, but you'd have to like run your finger along it a few times to do it. I think that maybe insulation, like what's it called? What's that stuff? Is it, I don't know. I think insulation is, more dangerous than this stuff. That stuff will cut my fingers. I haven't cut my fingers on this yet. That's not to say that it's not possible to do it. I just haven't had an issue with it. Because ultimately it is glass, but it's on there now. Like it's not coming off, you can hear. So. Well, yeah, that's true, Holly, but I mean, none of the resin coasters are gonna absorb liquid either. This actually may absorb water more than a resin coaster because it's masonite and it's not, I didn't seal it in. But it is just an idea. And if you wanna like make it into a mo mobile, mobile, you know what I mean. Funny you should say that, Crazy G Lady, because I actually have done a geode that is freeform. It's over there, just attached to the legs to it. It's a side table. I'm going to turn this around so you guys can see. Which, this one? Okay. Time out. That's true, Holly. So, check it out. And turn this around and this around so I can see what y'all are looking at. So this is the geo that I did the other day. And in this black area here, where are you guys? In this black area, that's glitter glass. That's giving that awesome shine. Bright chair. So I also have been working on a side table. I still have to add these inside little stones, but it also has some glitter glass in it. I'm doing a time-lapse video of how I did this side table and how I attached the legs while keeping the base clear and sturdy. So I have some glitter glass around the edge of this one. This is a 100% resin freeform geode. It took mm, three gallons. Maybe not that much. A resin. 
but it's been a project of mine for a long time. You can see my hands through large parts of it. I love that about this thing, that it's got depth and transparency. Super pumped about finishing this guy. That's what she says, sweet sour cream. <sighs> um, Jacqueline, you can get triple glaze at anywhere that sells spray paint. Probably even um, craft stores. That's a good idea, Holly. Thanks, Diane. Right, Vamp? It's like gallons of resin and days, weeks worth of time. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you try this and I hope you tag us ATD in your results of your coaster slash Christmas ornament centerpiece. slash centerpiece. Get you some glitter glass. I'm not affiliated. They didn't send this stuff to me for free. I paid for it right down to the shipping and tax. Um, I'm just a big fan of the product. I do have it linked down in my description box um, under the Amazon link though. So you can find it more easily. Thank you, Clara. So yeah, um, I'm not, it doesn't hurt even a little bit. I did knock some of the shards off by being rough with it, but definitely make sure that when you're adding your hot glue and pushing the glass into it that you put a little force behind it so that they're really in there. Um, Daphne, I didn't use a base for my side table. It is 100% resin and fiberglass cloth. I am doing a tutorial on how I did that and how I attached the legs without splitting the base or having an ugly screw coming up through the bottom of it when I attached the um, legs to the table. I found an awesome solution with fiberglass and I'm putting the video together right now. It should be up in the next couple of days. So it's 100% clear, which is what I had been hoping for and searching for and dreaming about for, well, since I started doing that video, ultimately. I'm in love with that table. I don't know if I'm gonna sell it. Well, yeah, I am. Someone's gonna ask me for it and I'm gonna be like, hmm. Own car, bills, etc. Cetera. So, yeah, Claire saw the piece in person here, and I showed your, her my technique. She got the insider scoop before y'all did. Sorry, but she is one of my homies. Aw, thanks, Scarlett. Scarlett saw the table in person too. Um, if you haven't seen our puppy play date video, it is. Uh, the video we posted yesterday. Definitely, it's, it's a lot easier to do that table than I thought it would. It does take time. It takes a lot of materials. But after I reverse engineered it and found out how to do it so that resin's going to slump no matter how solid you think it is. If it's just resin without some kind of solid structure in it, it's going to end up slumping, especially if you're in a high heat environment. So... I had to find a way to have a clear base on it, but I wanted to still be able to say it's 100% resin, no um, plexiglass or anything like that under it. So, figured it out with my friend Doug's help, Bee's help, Judy's help, the fam's help. We figured it out so that I can say it is 100% resin and it will not slump. 
Makes me so happy. Anyways, you guys, I gotta go. Cujo's getting hype already. Yep. Incoming. Um, it's also raining here. Come here, miss. It's also raining here, so I have to take the boys around back. Um, we had such a good time with all the fam this weekend. Thank you. I know it. Um, please join us in our group, ATD's Poor People, so you can get some awesome inspiration and teamwork and support. And if you have questions, everyone's amazing. Um, Follow us on all of our other social media things. They're all listed right here. Ooh, I'm the palest one. Anyways. Oh, bye, JJ. Bye, everybody. I am super pumped to share all of the secrets with you guys. So if you have any requests or if you've seen something where no one's sharing the techniques and you need some help, shoot us a message. Okay, come here. Here, good boy. Uh, shoot us a message, send us a picture, and we'll we'll reverse engineer it for you guys. Um, we love you guys so so much, and could not do this channel without you. We get so supported and so inspired by every one of you. Thank you guys sincerely from Jeff and I and the boys. I know there's oh there he is. Come here, Bobos. Come here. Come here, floppy boy. But we got a bath today. Okay, got my hands full, y'all. So, we'll see y'all tomorrow, same time, same place. Till then, be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. Bye. I said bye.